This portion of the Fabulous Boomer Boys webcast is brought to you by Diamond Signs and Banners, your partner for exterior signs, indoor displays, trade show products, and vehicle graphics. And now, your hosts of the show, Bob Snyder and Bruce Bogart. From the iconic Corky and Lenny's Restaurant and Delicatessen in Woodmere, Ohio, we are the fabulous Bruma Boys. Thank you for coming. I'm Bob Snyder. This is my good friend Bruce Bogart from the fourth grade. And uh, we're ready to go again, as usual, after taking a week off. Bruce, we I, 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 I missed you last week. I, you did. I was in Mississippi. Well, not really. I was in Mississippi. Boy, that I tell you, that is a real change of pace for you being know, you're, in you are Cleveland, always, Ohio. You are, he's all, hey, why is Pretzels talking? We're trying to do what a is show. Is that our bodyguard talking? I don't yeah. know, you know? Oh, my goodness. But meanwhile, you're always traveling, Bob. Yeah, I, I mean, am. Do you vote in Ohio? I still do. <laughs> Guess where I'm going in this weekend? I'm going back know. to the south. I like the Confederacy so much, I'm going to Birmingham, Alabama to see my grandkids. Well, that's wonderful. Okay, so you're right. Are you, are you going anywhere for the holiday? Uh, no, I'll be here with my lovely wife, and uh, that's what we're doing. You'll be hosting people at your house, I bet. She's yeah. like that, right? Yeah, and I've actually, we weren't going to have the Seder at our house. I heard you were leaving town. I said, okay, we can do it now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it all well, thank out. you. All right, let's get, it, let's get into some of the things that have been going on here with the fabulous Boomer Boys. Those of you that are a regular star program may remember we had uh, Ivan Schwartz on from the Cleveland Film Commission. And uh, there was, we had a nice crowd here that night and some people were interested in uh, getting to meet Ivan because what he does is bring people into Cleveland to make movies. And he helps raise money for that. And among other things, when they do come in, he does introduce them to uh, the producers and the different people. And one of the young ladies that was here that night uh, met Ivan. He called her in for an interview, and Bruce, I have to tell you, I got word on it. She is uh, going to be up for some upcoming movie parts. So we feel kind of cool that yeah. thanks to the fabulous Boomer Boys, and you can applaud. Yeah. She's got a chance at uh, who knows what, yeah. right? It's just, yeah. So we are we are really stepping stones. People are using us. Well, I mean, look, who was who was the newscaster? Well. Uh, Oh, Robin Swoboda, for yeah. example. All of a sudden, she was on our webcast. Now she's going to be doing a podcast. Who would have thought it, right? So you know. Next thing you know, our guest tonight will have a magazine, right? Right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on? Well, uh, besides that, talking about uh, upcoming shows, I think are important because we've been gone for a week. It's your show. And we've had some reviews. <laughs> we had some reruns going on. Uh, next week. We have somebody that uh, I've heard of, but I was surprised how many people I didn't really know who he was. I think if they see him and once he's on the show, they're going to remember him. No, Charlie he, Wiener. Charlie, Charlie Wiener's Wiener. next week. He's a comic. He's a comic, right. A lot of people, if you've ever been out to Putin Bay, for example, uh, he's, he's somebody that's out there quite a bit. <laughs> I don't even know where Putin Bay is. <laughs> Come on, Bob. You've never been to Putin Bay? No. Oh my I God. I mean, oh, you, you were the cool season. one. You had a car when you were in the tent. No, you grade. can't drive to Putin Bay. You got to take a well, boat. Uh, or, or well, the, uh, did you on a boat? Give me a break. Yeah. Well, I was out in Putin Bay, and I've been there, and they've uh, they've got really a lot of different uh, people that come out there and perform. But he also, I believe, has been at places like uh, Blossom, and he's been to Vegas. He's been a comedian out of Vegas. I've been to Vegas. Okay. There you go. And besides Vegas, he's been, uh, he also does some singing and writing of music, and he's an author. And uh, we're really excited to have him next week, and uh, he's, he's going to be on. And uh, I think he's going to do a little sort of stand-up. Well, I, I can't wait it'll to see be, the two different. of you. I can't wait to see the two of you go at it. Because your, your, your sense of humor, I think, well, fits first in perfectly. Well, Bob, I'm still thinking about the put in bay thing. I'm going to have to Google put in bay before next week. No, you'll have to see where it is. Kelly's <laughs> Island's another place. <laughs> <laughs> really? I, are you, I know I was at your bar mitzvah. But you talk about <laughs> Kelly's Island, put in bay, and going to Alabama. I mean, what else? I mean, really? Well, you know what? Uh, let me tell you about. Uh, I'm weeks. a man for all seasons, Bruce. Oh, yes, you are. Okay. Okay, let me tell you about two weeks from tonight. Oh, two weeks? Who do we have then? Allison Schaefer will be on. For those of you. Wait, who don't... Allison Schaefer? You had Miss Schaefer in fifth grade. That's not the same person. No, it's spelled oh, okay. differently. Oh, all right. Um, anyway, this is a, Allison is an um, amateur food critic. She goes to restaurants in town and critiques their food. And um, I think we're going to have to give her some food here and see. Yeah. You know, see all if. Right. What she can do with it, but she's also she also is an expert in the field of uh, canine therapy. 
Oh, she's a psychologist, amateur psychologist, talks to dogs. Wait, she's an amateur food critic. I can't give it all away. I'm so excited. It's so rare that you let me gra grab a guest. Okay. So I'm, I'm, you know, usually you're grabbing guests. All right. So well, no offense. Well, talking about another guest that you helped get a hold of, and put in Bay, Kelly's Island, and also uh, different places around the country. Yeah. We have, uh, in fact, I think he opened for uh, Billy Joel at one time, Alex Bevan. And I know you've heard of him. Well, Elton right? John yeah. also opened for Billy Joel. Why couldn't you get him? <laughs> well, you got well, Alex I mean, Bevan. Well, yeah. Alex, Alex, Alex still lives around here. Yeah, he does. He lives out, I think, in Lake County, maybe? Yes, somewhere in that area. I saw him. This I took my lovely wife and uh, my friend, the Silvermans, and we went out to uh, this past Friday, a place called the Fish Bar in Painesville. Mm -hmm. And Alex was the entertainment. And I got to tell you, he is still great. He does great songs about baby boomers. He's written a, song, a few songs about him. He's done a lot of jingles. Remember when the Browns were good? He used to do the uh, commercials for the Browns where each week they would have another song. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that. And uh, I, really, I really think that uh, he's going to be very entertaining as well. And so he'll be on, uh, that's May 7th. Right. So we've got some heavy hitters coming on. And one last thing before we bring on tonight's heavy hitter. I know many of you out there are missing something from tonight's program. And it's usually behind us here. And it is our sign. I'm not going to say who because we don't want to throw them under the bus. But somebody that... <laughs> Tyler. Somebody that... <laughs> Somebody does, God bless you, somebody that does work for us is in charge of bringing the sign, and he did not, he or she, we don't want to say specifically, did not bring the sign tonight, so we apologize for that, but you all know it's the fabulous Boomer Boys that you're watching. And in fact, we're going to be talking a little later about uh, Diamond Signs and Graphics, who do make our sign and posters for us. But right now, Bruce, is I, it think time? It's I think it's time. Okay, go for it. All right. This coming, uh, not this coming, May 1st, Wednesday, May 1st, Bruce and I are going to make another personal appearance. And it's going to be at the Boomer Bash out at La Centra in Westlake. And we're going to talk about that tonight by the person that's putting that on. And he's also the publisher of this magazine, and it's called Northeast Ohio. Tyler, can we get this over here for a second? I've got to tell him everything. You know, no, Northeast Ohio, Boomer and Beyond. And he's our guest tonight. I hope everybody gives a warm welcome to Brad Mitchell. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you, Brad. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you, man. Thanks for having me back. Well, you got to be a thin man to squeeze in here. Yeah. Well, you are. You are. Thank God. Yeah. All right. Well, Brad, this is Brad's second. You are in Bruce's. This is our second time that we've had Brad on. Originally, uh, we got to speak to Brad when uh, we, we were talking about your magazine because right. we thought it fit in with our program. So great to have you back. But tonight, we're going to talk not just about the magazine, but about the big boomer bash coming on, right? So when you right. know some of the particulars, give it to us right oh, off sure. the bat. Well, we're excited because I think it's two weeks away, two weeks and a day away. Right. Two weeks from tomorrow. Uh, May 1st, it's our second year back on the west side. Uh, the boomer bash is really a celebration of life after 50, because it gets better after 50, from what I hear. Is I, that true? I think we're witnesses we're, to that. We're yeah. in field goal range. Right. <laughs> and I'm with you over 50. Okay. And, uh, and it's, a, it's a celebration, as I said, it's like a happy hour party for our generation. So we've got music, we've got drinks, we've got food, we've got vendors uh, and all kinds of fun. We've got um, a sketch artist to get your, you know, the ones that right. sketch your face. and. Yeah. And all the caricature artists. Did you have them? We were out the one in October. I don't think you had the caricatures uh, then. I don't remember. I didn't see the yeah. sketch artists because I yeah. would have done oh, that. I would have liked to have one of you, That's Bruce, right. there. But that, oh, we should say we were out at Ladderhaven. Yeah. When was that? It was uh, October, I think. That was uh, late October. Yeah. yeah. So this is a big deal to Bruce and I because we know that uh, even though we have had over 7,000 hits for our program, good time to applaud, audience. <laughs> but, uh, we are... We're, gonna, we're trying to expand, and we're actually going to be on the west side. If Bruce yeah. can get his passport together, we will be there. And I will be there. You'll be coming up from Alabama? I'll I will be there. there, yeah. And, and we will be there. And so where is this place? I, don't, I have to admit, I've never well, been out there. Well, the center is, so you go across the river, and it gets scary, I know, when you, once you get over on the west side. Right. But you just, 
One way to do it is just take Detroit Road. If you're concerned, just take Detroit Road. Okay. You can just do that. That's Superior becomes Detroit. Yeah. Okay. We know it is Superior. West yeah. Siders call it Detroit. You're right. right. Okay. Or you can take 90 and get off. We know what we'll do. Excuse me, Brad. Yeah. We will put on our website, we'll put a map so the people that know us from the east side will be able to get there. Right. Okay. Okay. We could do that. I, that Bruce, oh, this is phenomenal. Yeah, okay. Some call the west side the promised land, by the way. Who? Some. <laughs> name, name one! <laughs> Nobody I know. <laughs> we won't go there. All right, okay. all right. So, so we're going to go. Okay, so where the name of the place, and, and tell us a little about this place. So, La Center is really the banquet facility on the west side. You know, it's like. I could say it's almost the land or haven of the West. That makes you know, sense. Well, you know, we had Brent Larkin here last week, and we mentioned to him that we were going to be there, and, and he's been there yeah, for a number of He, he, he said it was a great was. facility, yeah. He, Wonderful facility. It's big. It's, it's beautiful. A lot of weddings are held there. And we like it. It's an upscale place that you can really enjoy yourself. There's plenty of free parking, and there'll be, there's going to be food sampling. There's going to be music. There's going to even be some free drink sampling this year. Oh. So we're, we're kind of mixing it up. It's going to be a little crazy this year. Yeah. You going to let us get on stage again for a few minutes? Well, the stage is going to be not as great. I had to ask. Oh, that's, that's a no. <laughs> oh. I had to, that was like a pregnant that's pause a no. there. <laughs> we're not having a, a big entertainment uh, focal point this year. We're having ongoing music and ongoing activity. But you're going to have a DJ, though, right? We're having a DJ. That music. guy's not coming to sing? Uh, Don Costa? Is that who it was? Who was it? Uh, Nick Costa. Right? Nick, is he coming? No, Did, no, not uh, to this one, but we really enjoyed him on the east yes. side, you know? I mean, it's hard to make choices about what to do each year, and uh, we listen to our crowd, and they we're trying to do what they want. So. Hey, you're not the first one to break up with us, you know? <laughs> well, you guys are invited. I can't wait we'll to see there. you guys. We'll so we're going to be there. We're going to have a table there, right? We're going to... So oh, people yeah. can come by. I hope. Our fans can come out and visit with us and get Bruce's autograph. And you're going to bring your banner this time. Yeah, we'll yeah. remember to have the banner. Right, definitely. And I want to tell you what the people here tonight, just so you know, have uh, been kind enough. We are going to be giving away. This is like on the Oprah and Ellen DeGeneres show. You know, they give you these prizes for being in the audience. Uh, I know, Bruce, you don't watch those shows. But anyway. Uh, I'm working, Bob. I'm I, know, I, I know you work. So Ellen DeGeneres is, is the one that picked up on Oprah. Doing, so we're going to give, can we get a little, I don't know if this shows up good on camera, but we're going to be, everybody here tonight is going to get a free ticket. That's right. Right? Thanks to uh, Brad here for, for the uh, Boomer Bash. And you'll be, able, you'll be able, so we'll make sure before you leave to get one of those. I'm no. Well, can I mention the charity it helps support? Please do. Oh, yeah, sure. So you know, every year, well, at, at each activity, we, we pick a, a, a charity to help support, and we do that through the raffle prizes and the giveaways that we, so many of the vendors donate gift baskets and other wonderful prizes, and the tickets are only a dollar each, just to throw, you know, a right. ticket in there, and, uh, you know, we've raised hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and this year it is Outrun Ovarian Cancer, known as OROC. Wonderful organization that does research um, for ovarian cancer, for awareness, and uh, based right here in Northeast Ohio. So we're proud to have them there. That's and, great. Uh, well, we an applaud to them. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, I, am I mistaken? I think the last time they raised money for Alzheimer's. That's correct. It? Which, of course, affects a lot of baby boomers. So that's right. So but, yeah. let me ask you this: If um, people are watching our show, how do they get tickets? Well, there's a number of ways you can do that. So you can go to our website, northeastohioboomer.com, and there's a lot of links to do that. Okay, maybe there. we'll put that link on, Tyler. If yeah. You, you know, if you remember the sign next time. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the, uh, you can put that at the bottom of the screen there. That, that sign. Go ahead. And there's um, a phone number. Uh, you can call us just at 330-822-4011, uh, and we'll, we'll um, take care of your, your ticket there. It's only $10, so it's not a big commitment, right? No, or you just come to the door and we sell tickets for ten dollars, so we make it easy. That's ten dollars a buck for the charity, five dollars for gas. Um, it does it's, add up. it's still out. It's not. You know, it's you had a great crowd at Landerhaven. Yeah. Yeah, it was standing room only there, really. I mean, you. you yeah. Yeah, Landerhaven. Now, did you go to the West Side last year as well? Yeah, we were at La Center. That was our kickoff event, and yeah. it, it was big. We had almost uh, sixty-five vendors, and you know, many of these vendors are giving out freebies. So you might spend that sixteen dollars, but you probably get back a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Yeah, you know, I will tell you, they, they've got these people that do the uh, skin things out there. You're gonna have some of those there. You know, get rid of wrinkles. I forget what. Uh, right. Yeah, right. Dermatology. Or, or, yeah, dermatologists. You've got. Uh, I saw Tri-C, I remember, out there giving away beautiful pens. Did I read 
that you're having some authors out there? Is it about Cleveland authors? Some oh, kind yeah. Of thing? And actually, some, some that you know of. Right, like, that like, were on our show. Like Michael Shevsky and his wife, Jan. And, and wasn't Dan Coughlin scheduled? Danny Coughlin's coming. Yeah. Our guests, uh, I tell you, our guests go from here they, to the big time. They use us. <laughs> they use us. It's okay. It's all right. They do a great job while they're here. Oshesky was fantastic, and so was Coughlin. Yeah. And so Neil Zerker, of course, you know Neil Zerker from his one tank trips and everything. Right. right. So right. he'll be there. Oh, we'll have to get him on. Yeah. Uh, Bob Adamoff was an author who actually is based out of uh, those islands that that you don't know about, the uh, Kelly's Kelly Island. Kelly Island. Kelly Island. <laughs> no. Can you believe, can you believe I have, have you I, ever heard? Have you been out there? Well, yes. I went there, but I was afraid. I thought it was like the Bermuda Triangle. I'd never come back. Oh, okay. so maybe oh. should go. You know what's interesting? This gentleman is from Chicago. Okay, why is that interesting? <laughs> because he came to Cleveland. People are moving oh, oh, to Cleveland. Great. Okay. Cleveland right. is a boom town. Right. All right. Oh, I don't know if you're aware of this because I don't, Bob doesn't read up on Cleveland like oh. I do. Bob's reading up on Selma, Alabama. But I want to tell you something right Birmingham, now. Birmingham. 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 It's all the same. You okay. go down there, it's all the same. All right. Here's the thing. Are you, have you, are you aware, as I am, about the great um, honor that Cleveland's Rivers got, River got recently? Do tell. No. Well, I don't remember the organization. They just got named as one of the top rivers in the country, didn't they? I, I think in the, if it's that American Rivers. Uh, right. Yeah. Yes, I was reading about I that. I, about I felt I was so proud of our town. Our river, because yeah. it celebrates the 50th anniversary of yeah. a, a not so good anniversary of the burning river. Yeah, but it doesn't right. burn anymore. I mean, it's, it's clean. clean. Yeah. They're cleaning There's it up. fish yeah. in it. You can eat. Yeah. Right. By the way, right. I was reading your, your magazine before we got here. Oh, let's, yeah, let's show everybody this. Amazing let's article. Do, we we got to give a little plug. The Leon Bibb interview was yeah, phenomenal. Can we get that on the, uh, Tyler? Okay, so let's give a little plug for the magazine. I mean, it's, Thank you. It, uh, it's, it's free, first of all. And, you know, I know my brother's here. He'll go pick one up now. <laughs> you know, but it's, uh, it's it's a great, great thing. Thing, and so it comes out. It's, it's six times a year, and some people say, "Where can I find it?" Well, all the Mark stores, all forty-four or forty-six of them. Oh, Mark's it. Okay, because I usually get ours at. Uh, you go to Giant Eagle, Eagle Bob. Right? You go to Giant, Giant Eagle. Eagle. Most of the Giant Eagles and most of the drug marts, all the libraries, all the senior centers, which you're too young for. Right. But we have a lot and of seniors. You better watching. tell them what a library is. Oh yeah. yeah, the library is the place where you go and meet girls. I mean, right. It's right. a place where you, you find books and. You, Okay. I go to the library and meet girls. He goes to funerals. So figure. <laughs> go figure. But anyway, so, talk about the Vegas. Well, it was a wonderful um, honor to, to interview uh, Leon Bibb. So our editor, Marie Eliam, had a, had a great time with him and asked him some in-depth questions, and he gave some terrific answers. Yeah. It's a really, it's a unique interview and uh, we have copies for all of you you can also find it on right Bobby. we're going to also give all everybody here today another oprah gift yeah, a free yeah. Gift. We're gonna be, uh, you don't have to go to marks you'll be able to get it right here right? And he really he really embodies the spirit of a purposeful life which was the theme of this issue which was you know a purposeful uh, life okay purposeful and life. he has led one i mean he certainly know. has he's a terrific guy yeah, so he'd be great. And uh, we know we have a mutual friend in Terry Moyer because you appeared on the uh, their 11 o'clock in the morning show, right? Right. Well, that's too early for me. I was on closer to 12. At, oh, right. uh, yeah. Live on Lakeside. Yeah. Live on Lakeside, yeah. which, of yeah. course, Bruce and I were on before you were. But, okay. <laughs> but we mentioned your name. Yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah, I think we did. I think we did because we think we told them about the Boomer Band. Absolutely. So, right. The yeah. East Side one. Yeah. 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 Okay. But now you don't just publish this great magazine. This guy is a, what, what's the word they use, Bruce? You're, you're much better than I am with the, the source. He's a very a a a an op entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. There you go. Yeah. Just don't call me a publishing magnate, because I'm not. Uh, you're not a magnate? OK. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not a heavy hitter. I'm just a humble publisher guy. That So five years ago, we uh, saw a need in the marketplace for a family magazine, uh, because there wasn't one anymore. And so we launched Northeast Ohio Parent. So that's our flagship brand, and it's more than a magazine. It's digital, it's events, it's all kinds of good stuff about why staying in Northeast Ohio and raising a family is a good thing, that there's a lot of great things to enjoy as a family. So we bring that to life here. So parents, so like yeah. Bruce was a child of divorce. Would they have articles and stuff like that in there? You know, we touch on some, some difficult subjects at times, yeah, like vaping. I don't know if you're up on that. Fake, that that's a fake cigarette. Oh, no, no. You haven't talked to Bob about that. Yeah. No, I know. I, you know, I think it's a horrible habit, and I'm glad they're yeah. cutting down it. So you've had articles well, on Yeah, that. we yeah. do. We touch on all kinds of things, from the, the fun things to the, the tougher things, and really from, from birth all the way through, through graduation. So um, 
So that's our monthly magazine. Then we do a wonderful partnership with uh, NCJW, the National Council of Jewish Women, uh, annual magazine called Live Special. And oh, that let me was see that. Born, my, daughter, my daughter's on the board. That was born out of their website called livespecial.com. Um, it's a special needs resource website uh, specifically for Northeast Ohio. I don't even remember call you mentioning that the last time. Really. Yeah. Well, that's good. I don't think it, was that going around a half a year ago when you were here. Yeah. So this is our well. Let's see. Our, this is our fourth edition that came out last August, and so the fifth one will be out this coming August. So okay. we're looking for more people that want to jump on board, and advertisers can can um, you know write an article in these and. Uh, broaden their reach to the special needs community and it's, it's handed out at like the Downs Walk and Milestones Autism and all kinds of uh, area events and, and schools like Julie Billiard and things like that. Wow, yeah. that's well, good stuff. You know, we, let's go back to the, the Boomer and Beyond since that's more the theme of our show and I just want to ask you for example Bruce, for those of you who don't know, has had a blog on occasion and I've always said and my friends those that know Bruce from our days from elementary school all the way through Ohio State he is a fan and, and I know I'm embarrassing a little bit here not at all but he is a <laughs> is a tremendous writer yes he, he really is he really is Thank and, you. and Bruce I, how does someone get an article in I, I think Bruce would fit perfectly for right oh. for uh, finding it the right article well, to put in here. Well, how, how, what, how do you go about getting people to do I don't want to put you on a spot. I don't want to put you on a spot. Because I already you know, did. I'll, but tell you, I'll tell you what I'd like to do. You belong to an organization that I would like to belong to, if only so when I die, my kids can say my father belonged to that organization. Do you know what I'm talking about? The, I'm you, afraid to The ask. North American oh. Mature Publishers Association. <laughs> I would like to be considered a mature man. Can it, how do we, how do you, what can I, no I chance, no wow. chance. How do I join that? Wow. It, it, am I right or wrong? Is that the name of it? I'm pretty yeah, close. Yeah, Bruce, you really did your homework there. Cause I always do my homework. Oh, no. Bob doesn't, but I do. You got to look really small on here to see that. The regulars know what's going on. The regular wow. viewers of this program. Well, go ahead. But you're right. We, we, not, not me personally, but the magazine is a member of the National Association of Mature Publishers. Would I have to grow a beard for that? Or? Um, it helps. You know, there's a, I can do that too. There's a panel that judges, and uh, and we actually we've won awards for nationally for best magazine. Oh, uh, cool. hey, that's cool. So uh, yeah, you deserve this. Yeah. Uh, so you know, the goal is to reach reach people, boomers and seniors, and have relevant information and helpful, fun stuff, but also some serious stuff. So we try to mix it up. Okay. So, so you're so saying I can't get in? Is that a no to Bruce? Or what was the it? question again? I want to. I want to <laughs> be. Is my lawyer here? I, I really. There's an associ right, the yeah. National Association of Mature Publishers, yeah. or something like the North American well, Association have to, of Mature Publishers. You have to publish first to get in there. Is well, it? true? I'll publish. There are some I'll plagiarize, but I'll publish. Okay. There are some guys. <laughs> So, you know, you could write uh, from a personal level, but also as a, a, a legal, from a legal standpoint. Right? Yeah, I've done that enough. I tell you what, is, who's, now, who's in charge of accepting things for your, for your, your publication? Well, is it got, Maria? Our editor, Marie, that was here. And, yeah, uh, she was here a half year ago. I noticed she didn't bring Marie back this time. It was time a half right? year ago tonight. Yeah. yeah. It was on the 16th of October. And nothing to do with Bruce that she's not here tonight. Oh, no, it? she loves oh. Bruce. She's oh, okay. actually got a poster of him I, I, at the office. The one I, you mean the one I signed? Yeah. 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 Okay. Happens. Great. Well, there you go, Bruce. I think you know this is a. Well, it's uh, good to know. Don't give away. I am so excited about going out there to the West Side. Not because it's new territory for me, but you know what? We had a lot of fun the last time we were there. We thought we'd be there for a half hour, forty-five minutes, do our little thing on stage, but we hung and we had a lot of fun when it was a land. The time flies. There's yeah. a lot of interesting people. I think. Oh which yeah. Is a lot of fun. You know? No, I remember I'm walking around. We took turns walking around, so someone would man the booth, as they say. Mm -hmm. But uh, we took turns walking around, and the, uh, the people we met there and uh, the different things that they do that are related to baby boomers were, were very interesting. And uh, we, we actually got some of our uh, future guests right. from the people we mm -hmm. met at the uh, Boomer Bash. So and, I and definitely, actually, uh, we picked up some advertisers there, too. Yeah, we did. We, uh, we did, Bob did yeah. a good job. Yeah. <laughs> no. So we definitely want to, we're, we're, I know we're plugging it here, but we're not just because we're going to be there, because it's really something, I think, for baby boomers to go to, and it, it's different. There, I don't think there's anything like it, really. Not really. No. You know, it's a place to mix and mingle with people of your generation, you know. So, And uh, I think the people that come like the fact that there aren't a bunch of young hooligans running around. No offense. You know, but 
you know, that it's people in their generation and everything's relevant for them, the music. Yeah, they uh, play 60s and 70s music. Yeah, some right? 80s too. Some 80s, yeah, okay. Well, you gotta play Journey. The one so, thing you know, we did was unique. We were the only booth there that was selling nothing. We were just telling people about our show. <laughs> I mean, true. really, people stopped. We don't have, we said, we don't have anything to sell. Really, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> we we want to give something away. Any choices we should give away at the, you know, oh, at, at the, the bash? Event? Yeah, what? You know, a lot of these people have candy they give away, and you know, well, I, I like was thinking of TV or something. I like I the know. guess the number number of marbles or, or gumballs in the jar trick. That's always a that's a crowd pleaser. Okay, you know, we got to come up with something to put in the jar now. So right. It could be like a filter fish. Give him a trip to Point Bay. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> you know what? Well, you know that? That's good. They have that ferry that takes you over. Yeah, you can't say that. You can't say ferry anymore, Bob. <laughs> oh, you can't say <laughs> I apologize. I'm <laughs> sorry. You know, we try, not, we try to be politically correct, but something I don't else try. comes up. So he doesn't ever Bob try. does, because yeah, he says Howard Stern. Hey, wait, be, before we go tonight, and we have a couple more questions, I just do want to remind everybody, I'm going to put my glasses on for this one. Looking to brilliantly build your brand or creatively convey a message, make diamond signs and graphics your partner for exterior signs, interior displays, trade show products, and vehicle graphics. The fabulous Boomer Boys thanks Diamond Signs and Graphics for their backdrop, which was forgotten by somebody tonight, and various posters that have promoted our show. To learn how Diamond Signs and Graphics can help your organization, if someone doesn't forget to bring it, visit their website at clevelandsigncompany.org. That's clevelandsigncompany.org. And uh, do us a favor, tell Mark Balin you heard about him here with the fabulous Boomer Boys. Thank you very much. We do want to talk about our upcoming East Side event, too. Oh, yeah. Do we yeah. have time to talk about that? Yeah, absolutely, for sure. We so we, we, this is kind of breaking news. Yeah, that, that, oh, breaking news. OK, now you can do it. Now. It's actually bigger than that river store. In the OK. <laughs> no, okay. Go for it. Go. <laughs> so October 30th, day before Halloween, we're having Boomer Bash East. Boomer, get it? Boo. Oh, that's Boomer. good. Oh. Oh. This is uh -huh. why he's the publisher. Oh, it's right. not, it wasn't my idea. I can't take credit. He's for the publisher. So he said, you know, when are we going to do this event? Wait, 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 wait. Just, Janice, yes. you're you're on the staff there. Can we get a shot, Tyler? Wake up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we get a shot? At Any port Janice in the storm. There? Yes. Is it possible? That it was her idea, or Janine, whose idea was the boomer? Oh, well, am I allowed to say whose idea yeah, sure, was? Sure, It was Yvonne, one of our lovely staff people. Right. Okay, all right, now go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so we were, we were thinking, should we do it before Halloween or after Halloween? We got Election Day. Like, you know what? Let's just do it the Wednesday night before Halloween. No one's got plans that day, right? No one's handing out candy that day. So right. let's have a party for boomers and seniors. And called a boomer bash costume party. It is costume. So you got party. Costume. Oh, oh. You, got, you got some time to figure out what you're gonna wear. And we might, we maybe might have a costume contest. What do you think? Should we do that? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Now, yeah, yeah. if you've been, if you have a booth, are you still eligible to win the contest? Well, sure. I'm in. Yeah. I'll oh. be there. I cannot wait to see the costume you wear. I'm not telling you about it. Well, no, I know. No, I no, because you always critique my clothing anyway. So I'm not going to go there. But no. these aren't costumes right now? No. No, no, no. <laughs> no. no I think you look pretty good tonight. I bought what this shirt new, got? actually. Oh, you did yeah. buy that new? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Which is that big and tall store? So you guys could come with oh, like a, a fat and tall. Oh, okay. <laughs> like a couple. You know, it could be like famous couples. No, I can't go uh, there. He doesn't know where to draw the line. I can't do that. <laughs> Maybe the audience has ideas on. Uh, well, we might we might ask the audience to give us some yeah, ideas. We could do that. But we this will is great. We are committing right, so right now. We'll be there. We'll be there. That's October thirtieth. Wednesday, October thirtieth. Right. Which happens to be a day before Bruce's birthday. Every year falls right. right. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Which yeah, is a big cool. birthday wow. this year, right? Big birthday. Yeah. So, uh, so if we stay out till midnight, we can sing. Absolutely. Well, we can sing beforehand. So this will be, you know, the, the other thing I did want to mention about the one out in uh, La Center yes. in Westlake on Detroit, yes. right, is that this is really a happy hour kind of thing. So, it you know, it's, you can still, you can go there and uh, it's like coming to our program and you still can go home and watch your favorite TV show and a little whatever you want to do with your you know, favorite person. You can record you can do them all too of that. now, Bob. You, can also, you still have time to do all of that. And if you come there, and uh, so the whole idea of the happy hour, I mm -hmm. think, is, is a great idea. For it is good. It gets us home and in bed safe and sound before, you know. What time does it start uh, on May 1st? 
4 p.m. 4 p.m. Okay. Now, now I have to say, sometimes the older generation of which I'm a part of like to show up at like at three. <laughs> yes, because we were there. Yeah, that's when we set up. The and all of a sudden, you see a couple of these buses come in from the old folks' home, yeah. and it's 3:30. You know, and but you'll right. let them in. So, so the vendors set up early, but we the, the you know the attendees we don't really open the doors, the floodgates until four o'clock. Yeah. But you can get tickets at the door, and there's plenty of food this year. We you know we've heard complaints in the past, you know. That you know, we've run out of the food, so we got more food this time, okay. and uh, more fun you know, people like you guys. So. Bob, maybe we'll talk to our wives. We'll get a couple of hotel rooms on the west side, so we don't have to drive back and forth. Make it make, sort of make an event out of it, a major event. Well, definitely, if we get hotel rooms, it will be two because you snore. Well, so, so you know. So you know what? I wish my father was alive to snore. So don't hurt me, Bob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, I. I Please join me in thanking Brad for coming and, yeah. and letting us. You're still going to let us again. Thank you. Great we'll have to do okay. We should do this every week. All right. Okay. Oh. We're, we'll All be right. here. Look for, the, look for your free magazine. Those of you who are tonight, tonight are going to get that. And we're going to also be giving you all, don't leave, because we're going to give you tickets to the Boomer Bash, which is May 1st. And also we want to remind you, of course, that Charlie Weiner is going to be here. Have you ever heard of Charlie Weiner and his yeah. comedy? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he's going to be here next week. I, I guarantee a fun show with Charlie. He, uh, he sings, he's an author, and he's got jokes about baby boomers, about things that really happen. He turns into funny stuff. So uh, be sure to join us for that. And um, anytime you want, you can watch any of these programs by going to, like you did, those of you at home, to YouTube and search the Fabulous Boomer Boys, and we'll be there. I'm Bob Snyder, that's Bruce Bogart. Last word, Bruce? Well, yeah, I just want to say thank you to Alan once again, Pretzels, for keeping us safe this week. And pair, get well. We'll see, okay. you, see you next thank week. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next week. Oh.